Hey, hey, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to the show. It may not be morning by the time you watch this, but hey, we're just getting our morning started, so I'm gonna say good morning. Anyways, it looks like it's a little bit of a cloudy day out there today. A little bit of a breeze, but nothing too serious. I'm just glad I'm not out there in Indiana or a little bit further south. They're getting hammered with another snowstorm up there, but we took off from the Walmart. It was still dark out there, so I think this is about an hour, maybe a bit more than an hour down the road. And so I figured I'd go in here and get me some breakfast done. So let's go ahead and do that. Look at that, guys. We got us a very typical American breakfast with ham, cheese, green peppers, onions in it, and a good hash brown and a good cup of coffee. Look at that. Oh, man. I think breakfast is going to be amazing today. So let's go ahead and have breakfast and hit the road again, guys. All right, guys, I was sitting right underneath this guy. Look at that. I was sitting right there. He's looking over me. He's gonna protect me, right? All right, guys, we just finished having us a good breakfast here. I almost said lunch, but it's not quite there yet, right? <laughs> and I don't think we'll have lunch today anyways. Nope. No way, not after a big breakfast like that, I'm telling you. I am stuffed, I ain't gonna be able to put anything into my stomach until tonight. <clears throat> until we get home, sweet home, to the family, yeah. I didn't get to see my uh, daughter last time because she was still staying in Winnipeg, right? And so, uh, in 300 feet, turn left on. Yeah, okay, take the entrance to the ride in 250 feet. So, because of that, I didn't see her yet. So, yesterday evening, I was talking to the wife a little bit through WhatsApp, right? While I was doing my little shopping there at Walmart, my daughter heard that, right? Oh, she got really super excited. The wife told me, Oh, she was laughing, kicking her feet. And Oh yeah, she loves hearing my voice, I'm telling you. So that's one of the other reasons why I enjoy making videos too, right? Because my family gets to watch it at home on the big screen TV on what I'm doing out here, you know? And especially my daughter, you know? She doesn't get to see me very often or my son, right? They can, uh, they can watch what I'm up to out here on the road, right? So, you know, it always makes it worthwhile, you know, especially after uh, I just got notified well. last night of uh, the uh, ice road trucker Todd, or used to be an ice road trucker. I don't think he's part of that anymore, but anyways, uh, he uh, had an accident, right? And I even made a short little uh, video about that. If you haven't watched that just go back uh, seven days ago I released it and uh, watch that but anyways uh, yeah just like that just just like instantly right somebody uh, could lose their life just because they crossed that line like it was a two-lane road right and they crossed that medium and just at the wrong time and kaboom right and Two people are dead, right? And that's why I always tell you guys, don't play with your phones while driving or anything else. You gotta pay attention. Don't cross into that medium and be careful out there, right? That's what it's all about. You know, I always say, especially if you are a truck driver, it's not when, it's or, or it's not if you're going to have an accident, it's when are you going to have an accident, you know? And so, it's just a matter of time, right? When it's your time, it's your time. I mean, you can look at that. He's a very famous TV star, you know, from the Ice Road Trucker Show. You would, you know, you would think that he is an utmost standing professional truck driver, right? And uh, that's what most of us out here are. We are very professional truck drivers. And a lot of times, something can happen and, and uh, 
I'm not saying all the time, but studies have proven that uh, since the since the 70s and 80s, the accident rate has dramatically been reduced. That was caused by a truck driver. So what that means is there is still accidents out there. There obviously is, right? And it happens on a daily basis, right? Well, I don't know if daily basis, but it happens, right? Every week you'll hear about an accident somewhere, right? And uh, they have determined uh, that the percentage of truck drivers have an accident has gone down dramatically over every single year since the 80s for sure and uh, also the percentage of rate that it is actually the truck drivers fault has also been reduced dramatically it's more and more times than not it's a four-wheelers fault and I'm not saying every time don't get me wrong there is truck drivers at fault of course there is but a good number of percentage it's a four-wheeler it's like they will cut you off left and right and you know if you're trying to pass somebody else and you're taking a second longer than they want you to take because you're trying to be safe and not trying to cut the other driver off or you're trying to leave a little distance between you and the other vehicle because that's what you're supposed to do that's what you get taught when you take your training right then they try and cut around you and go around you on the right side and and then cut in front of you and slam on you on their brakes because you took a second of their life right or a second of their day right and and, and like it happens so many times you guys seen the video on here where this one lady failed to stop at a stop sign right and basically went right in front of me I, I've even had that on dash cam and I released it on on my channel here and, and stuff like that, right? It can happen so quickly, right? And so that's why I keep reminding you guys, you know, be safe out here, be vigilant, pay attention. Don't be playing on, on your phone, tablet, or computer. I've even seen that. Yes, I have. I've seen even truck drivers do that. Going down the road and they got like a set, set up here that they got their computer sitting right here and they're sitting there watching a movie or something, you know? They're not paying attention to what they're doing. That's why I'm saying it, it goes for everybody, not just for the four-wheelers, it goes for everybody. They, there's, there's bad people out in this world everywhere. It doesn't matter if you're a truck driver, what color you are, it, uh, it doesn't matter, right? But anyways, enough of that speech. Let's move on to a different topic. I'm glad I ain't getting snowstorm yet. <laughs> I was talking to Mitch earlier and uh, He's getting hammered with a, a big snowstorm that's going through the southeast uh, or Central America, I guess you could say, uh, over or United States, I guess. And he's out there uh, uh, in Ohio earlier. I think he's in Indiana by now, but yeah, he was uh, he was driving in some shitty roads up there. And see, that's another thing you got to be even more careful then because then everything is sliding. So it's you know it's so easy. To lose control like we saw that last week when we were in Oklahoma City there when we had that ice rain how quickly things can go out of hand where you see a bunch of four-wheelers in the ditch right and you got to be so careful that you don't lose control or that somebody doesn't hit you when they lose control right and so that's where it's important to leave that space between you and the other vehicle right so that's that's another thing that I've learned when I you know over the years of truck driving right you want to you want to leave yourself a good distance especially when there's bad roads right but anyways I hope that's a little bit of an informal uh, video educational video especially for new drivers or or whomever right or even if you've been driving for a long time you know be safe out there and we'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, guys, it appears that the road is starting to get slick. There is a pick -em up truck right here that's in the medium. There's a cop right there. Just before this, there was another four-wheeler on the right-hand side that was in the ditch. So uh, I'm guessing it's starting to get slick. It doesn't really look that way, but uh, I'm guessing it is. So we might want to start taking it a little bit more carefully. But anyways, 
I just figured I would show you guys these four wheelers sitting in the ditch here again. Welcome, welcome to Canada, guys and ladies. We are officially back in Canada. I'm very, very happy about that too because uh, I just got a phone call from my buddy there in Winnipeg and uh, he wants to invite us over for supper. Yeah! Most likely barbecue for tonight. I'm looking forward to that, I'm telling you guys. Yeah, I've been cruising pretty good ever since we left the Walmart uh, or uh, uh, Fergus Falls there earlier. Haven't uh, parked anywhere else. And so that's good. But I got several phone calls throughout that journey there, so I haven't really had a chance to turn the camera back on. So now we just crossed the border, so obviously I have to let everybody go. And now we can uh, videotape again, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't really have a whole lot to say right now. I, you know, said quite a bit this morning uh, when I first uh, left uh, Fergus Falls, right? So, should be a few minutes of video of that anyways. But other than that, let's thank our sponsors for uh, sponsoring our channel here on YouTube. Which one of them is Trucker Jukebox. Check them out on YouTube if you haven't already. And if you like his content, don't hesitate to subscribe to him. He makes uh, pretty good videos there himself. And he drives in America. He doesn't go to Canada, but hey, that's okay, right? He still has interesting videos. He's got two dogs. You know, you might like, you might like him, you may not. You never know, right? But he's a big sponsor of this channel, so why not give him a good shout out, right? Anyhow. Let's continue on cruising along here, make it to Winnipeg, drop this trailer, I just asked dispatch there at the border, well, you know, when we were there, if uh, they would have a loaded trailer for me to bring back to Steinbach, I figured I would ask them in advance, because I got an hour and a half before I'll be in Winnipeg, right? So I figured I would ask them in advance, so this way they have time to see if there is one or which one, right? If there is several. Maybe they have one that needs to come back a little bit uh, more priority than another one, right? So let them figure it out and uh, by the time I get to Winnipeg, hopefully I'll have an answer back. And then uh, if I pick up another trailer, that way I can do it right away, go home, take, take me a good shower and get ready and go to Winnipeg. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So let's continue on with our journey and make it happen. Hopefully we have a good barbecue tonight. And if we do, I might show you guys. Who knows? Stick around for that. I have now made it home, guys. Yes, indeed. So let's take a look who wants to say hi. <laughs> who wants to say hi? Our mussy? Huh? Yeah, Jesse wanted to say hi, eh? Did you guys hear that? As soon as I turn on the camera, right? I said a few words, right away she makes some noise, yeah? Yeah, I know you like being on camera, yeah? How was your stay, huh? You miss daddy? I know. <laughs> Anyways, we dropped our trailer in Winnipeg real quickly and uh, hammered down home took a shower now we're getting ready to go to Winnipeg and uh, go uh, have a good evening with our friends so yeah you hear that yeah 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 <laughs> anyways I gotta schedule my video for today yet and all that fun stuff so let me get to it and we'll see what we can show you tonight stick around hey guys we are now at my buddy's place right here see what he's cooking nothing yet oh my look at that He's got some nice steaks on there, eh? Oh, some beef ribs. Oh yeah, yeah. That's gonna be a nice barbecue, eh? Oh yeah. That's what I think so too. Anyways, we'll have a good chat with him. All right, guys, it's time to take a look at this stuff over here. Oh my goodness, look at that. That looks fantastic, eh? We got another piece right there, and we're getting ready to uh, put that into our stomach. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a it's a cold one out here today, but hey, we're still barbecuing, right? That's just how it goes. Anyways, I'm that's getting that's ready. That's what you can do. Yeah, best you can do, right? Yeah, I'm getting ready to to have me a good supper. I'm telling you guys, I'm hungry. Oh man, that looks nice. I hope you guys are hungry by any chance, but over. yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So let's go inside and have us a good supper.